dumbbell thruster. This is a great workout to do if you want to increase your strength and get your heart rate up. So today we're using 25 pound dumbbells. Feel free to scale up or down depending on your abilities. Uh, so go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Get those up to your shoulders. You want to think about starting stance a little bit wider than hip width, toes pointed out slightly. These dumbbells are going to be at your shoulders, being supported by your shoulders, not your arms. Get those up. You're going to think about squatting all the way down, hips and butt back. Come below parallel to your knees. Then thrust those dumbbells overhead using your hips all the way up, showing you those ears at the top. Again, all the way down, full squat, overhead. Hey, I'm Andy Spear, performance athlete, and today I'm going to take you through my dumbbell strength conditioning workout. This workout consists of four distinct complexes or series, each focusing on a different aspect of the strength and conditioning continuum. We start out with the power and strength complex, then we work in a hypertrophy series, then we focus on a core series, and then we finish with a conditioning complex. So before we get started with the workout, make sure you go through the entire warm-up, which is listed on the page below at bodybuilding.com. Let's get started. So the first complex we're gonna get into is our strength and power complex. The three exercises in the complex are gonna be your dumbbell clean, your push press, and your front squat. This complex we're gonna do for five rounds of three reps per exercise. And we're gonna rest 60 to 90 seconds between sets. I want you to go as heavy as you can while maintaining proper form, of course. The dumbbell clean is gonna focus on that shallow hip extension, really explosive, similar to a barbell clean or a kettlebell swing. The push press, now we're going overhead, focusing on explosive movement, really keeping the core tight and getting that nice lockout in the overhead position. And then the dumbbell front squat, Holding the dumbbells in that rack position, you can either go palms in or palms facing your chest, either one's cool. But remember, vertical torso, core control, I want a controlled motion on the descent, and then fire it up as you come out of the hole. The next step in this workout is the hypertrophy series. So we're gonna work in four sets of 10 per exercise. That's right in the middle of that hypertrophy continuum. You're gonna go through each exercise back to back and then take about 60 seconds rest before you go back and start it over again. First exercise is gonna be your dumbbell crush press. We're gonna do this on the floor so you don't need a bench of any kind. The crush press, you're gonna squeeze those dumbbells together like you're pushing in at the top of a fly as you go through that pressing motion. It's gonna really increase the time under tension of your chest, your pectoral muscles during that floor press. After the floor press, set the dumbbells down. You're gonna get up. We're gonna do a set of 10 bent over rows. Again, don't rush through the rows. Give me a big squeeze at the top, pulling the elbows up. Working on time under tension, muscular tension for this hypertrophy complex. After the bent over rows, you're gonna go into a reverse lunge. You're gonna do 10 reps on each leg. You're gonna pick one side, do 10, and then the other side, do 10. Two options as far as where you hold the dumbbells on this. You can hold them down by your side, but if your grip's getting a little shot, because sometimes it does on these, you can hold the dumbbells in the rack position. Either one is cool. The rack's gonna give you a little more core work. Down here is gonna give you a little more grip work, so wherever you're at, it's gonna work the legs just the same. Next up is our core focus dumbbell series. You're gonna go two rounds on each arm. You go through the entire four exercises with your right hand, take a short break, then go through the entire four exercises with your left hand. We're gonna start out with a dumbbell snatch. One of my favorite exercises to work, some explosive movements, but also what it does, it's gonna get you a little out of breath. One of the most crucial times to be able to control your core and posture is when you're breathing heavily. When we're doing the farmer's carry, one thing I want you to focus on is shifting your body weight slightly towards the side of the dumbbell. Your body's gonna to wanna to naturally shift away from it to bring that dumbbell closer to your center of gravity as a compensation. Shift your shoulders slightly towards that dumbbell. It's gonna straighten you out and you're gonna walk that 100 feet down and then get down on the floor for the get up sit ups. Two things I want you to focus on this. One is the arm with the dumbbell in it is locked out completely straight and your eyes are gonna be on that dumbbell the whole time. That's gonna help keep the balance of that dumbbell as you keep it overhead. The get up is more of a, a rolling motion, so a little trick. 
You're gonna push through your heel that's on the floor on the bent knee side. You're gonna do eight reps of that, set the dumbbell down, and now we go into our single arm plank row. This is like a renegade row, but we're just gonna use one arm at a time. I like to elevate the other hand. It gives you full range of motion in that row so you're not selling yourself short at the bottom there. Little wider stance in back. Make sure you maintain that proper hip stability so the hips are squared up to the floor. So everything's squared, shoulders, hips. Nice tight rowing motion and return. Take a short break and then do the whole thing all on your left side. Conditioning complex, you're just gonna go through two rounds of this. First exercise, a split stance, alternating hammer curl. The split stance position I wanna put you in here, that back leg's gonna be extended a little further than you would be in a normal split squat position, but we're still gonna work that back glute tucked under and fired, and abs really, really tight as you wanna keep that torso very vertical the entire time. 20 reps, 10 each arm, of an alternating hammer curl. Switch the legs, you're gonna go immediately into an alternating shoulder press. We're gonna keep that grip neutral, so palms in the whole time, no need to rotate at the top. We want these moving at a pretty quick clip, but maintaining good form and posture, of course. After you finish the 20 reps of the alternating shoulder press, dumbbells come back down to your side. We do 20 split switches. Now we're gonna switch our right leg in front to our left leg from that split stance back and forth. A couple cues on this. Again, I wanna maintain that vertical torso, and also, I want you to try to keep your hips as low as possible, so we're not jumping up and down off the floor. They'll move a little bit, but the idea is to move your feet as quickly as you can back and forth, rather than getting that vertical elevation off the floor. When you finish that, we come back to a squared up stance, feet hip width apart, and we finish with 10 squat curl to presses. So it's gonna be a squat, hammer curl, and press overhead for 10 reps. You're gonna rest about 60 seconds and then do that one more time to finish off the workout. Use this workout to improve, really, your overall strength and conditioning. Program it in twice a week, giving at least two rest days between each workout. Do that for three weeks. If you like the results, you can tack on another week or two, maybe increase the loading or decrease your rest time in between work sets to keep making some gains on it. So if you have any questions on this workout, find me on Instagram or my website, spearstrength.com. And for more free videos and articles like this, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.